guys was whoa, 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 whoa. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're back and we're back with Gucci and whatever. If you're new, it's a he's. If you're old, it's a he's. Um, I'm in a very good mood today, which is well deserved. It's been a rough week. Yeah, so basically it's the university period. Everyone's getting excited, you know, incoming freshers. You're probably, you know, watching every single university video that's on YouTube, which is what I did last year. So I don't blame you. So I thought I'll drop two uni videos, one, this one, and one, another one. Yeah, this is basically university do's and don'ts. Hope you enjoy. Let's not waste too much time. Let's get right into it. Um, university don't. Listen and listen very carefully if you're wise. Don't pack your whole house, okay? That is a very big mistake I made last year. Clearly in my mind, I thought that there's no shops in London. So I took the whole of Manchester to London with me. One of my friends bought a plate set for 12 people. I don't know whether you're feeding the Israelites, but you don't need to do that. You don't need a toaster, you don't need a kettle because most accommodations, if you're in accommodations, provide that. Pack smart, pack wise, spend your money wise everyone's doing the ikea trips and i get it but don't get too excited don't download uber eats don't download just eat don't download dominoes don't download delivery because they will suck your money and they will suck it well i am warning you in advance don't do it don't download those following apps because when there's no money in your account you will remember that one order you made that one chinese that one pizza that one takeaway that one mcdonald's and you'll just say that could be 499 in my account right now don't download those apps because they're not your friend they're fake friends don't get too excited during freshers week we get it you know people that have come from very strict backgrounds tend to go a bit wild because you know that's that one week where there's no curfew there's no parents you're living on your own and madness starts to happen you know some people some people slightly get possessed you know what i mean remember where you came from you know have fun of course, you know, go out. If it's drinking you want to do, go out and drink. If it's smoking you want to smoke, I'm gonna smoke, but don't smoke kids. Enjoy yourself, have a bit of fun, but always remember that Freshers Week is a little bubble that bursts after approximately three weeks, maybe a month if you're pushing it, depending where you study Midland Babes. Don't let, don't let, don't get carried away during Freshers Week, you know, because remember, Freshers Week, not Freshers Month and not Freshers Year, Freshers week don't forget why you came to university okay because at the end of the day we're paying 9250 british pounds sterling always remember that you came for a degree if you set yourself to get first in your first year or two one make sure you're working towards that make sure you're working towards you know your final result as well yeah always remember university is also about gaining certain skills and networking meeting certain people and learning about yourself so always put that in the back of your mind when you're living your best life. Next one, don't kill yourself. That is one thing I learned in my first year. You will try and do so much. You know, there's certain people, you know, every society they must join, every networking event they must go to, every access conference they must be present. But sometimes there is nothing wrong with literally just taking a day to yourself. Especially during Freshers Week, you know, you animals that want to party Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and again, take two days to just rest and recover because there's only so much alcohol the body can take and there's only so many parties the body can take. Sometimes rest and recover. And if you want to go again, go again. <sighs> Don't think you're coming to uni to find a husband. Don't think you're coming to uni to find a wife because everyone is still mad, everyone is still childish. Remember, men are trash and women are mad. You're not finding the love of your life in your first year. I'm just going to let you know that now. I did first year, I'm still single, so. Next one, I like to shout this a lot because I feel like a lot of people forget. Don't forget who raised you. 
surnames are on the line, disgrace is real, embarrassment is not a joke, and humiliation also is very present. For those that don't understand, Sha, the values you that were instilled into you at home, don't think, oh yeah, I'm going to Coventry, I'm gonna leave them, you know, at Manchester Piccadilly Station, and when I then get to Cov, I'm a brand new me. No. <clears throat> this is very important, and I will always be an advocate for this. I don't care if you wanna call me a cheapskate. Don't Sainsbury, okay? Don't Sainsbury. Lidl and Aldi are your friends if you're at uni. Because 10 pounds in Sainsbury's and 10 pounds in Lidl, oh, 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 there's a big difference in what you can get. There's always a Sainsbury's close to uni accommodations. They, they do it well, because as students, we can get lazy. You don't want to probably get an Uber or get the bus, you know, to the closest Aldi or Lidl, because Sainsbury's is literally like a two, three minute walk away. But trust me, do it, because over time, the financial loss is mad. If you can avoid Sainsbury's and go for cheaper options, do that. Don't go for the brands, you know? When you're at home, you can do Warburton, King's Mill, you know, designer bread. That is fine. But as you're at uni, there's nothing wrong with as the smart price, Tesco value. Go for the cheap stuff because you'll save money and at the end of the day, bread is bread. Don't overdraft, don't overdraft, don't overdraft. Overdraft is not free money. You will have to pay it back, back, back. I don't have a student account, so my parents were very smart in telling me not to because they know what I'm like and your parents know you better than you know yourself. Overdraft is not your friend. If it was up to me, I'd tell everyone simply just don't get a student account because that overdraft can pile up and you look at it as, oh yeah. <clears throat> overdraft. Cheeky 100 pound from my overdraft, 100 pound becomes 1K and then you're like, whoa. But when it's time to pay back, your eyes will shine. So um, yeah, don't overdraft. Those were the university don'ts. Now, um, what to do, you know, yeah? university do's, do 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 do's. Do, 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 do's. But yeah, okay, university do, do pay your rent. That is, that is your priority. You don't want landlords knocking on your door saying <clears throat> rent overdue and then um, you come home one day and all your stuff is outside your flat because you've not paid your rent. Do you use public transport? Um, I have a dear friend, Danielle, if you're watching this, um, who has a, who had a problem. She's been delivered now, but who had a problem with Uber. Like, you know, there's four pound Uber, five pound Uber, nine pound Uber, you know, adds up and when 245 pounds is taken out of your account, you'll be like, whoa. If you're in London, for those in London, public transport, there's that £1.50 bus journey. If you have to take the underground, take the underground. Those in the Midlands, I know you people walk everywhere. So walk, walk, walk and um, stay healthy, stay fit. You do organise yourself because organisation is very important. Um, <laughs> Yeah, because when those essay deadlines are all adding up and you're thinking, whoa. Plan yourself accordingly, start something on the day the essay is set, if it's only the essay plan or the introduction, get that out of the way so you kind of know what direction it's heading into because it gets a bit peak when your um, political ideology essay is due tomorrow and um, you you've not selected the question to answer. Do get yourself organized. Um, for those that work well with, you know, calendars or iPhone, do download Minimalist. Um, it, this video is not sponsored. I'm just saying, it's the app that I kind of use. So it's literally just, you, you make a list of the things you have to do throughout your day and you take them off when they're done. You can set reminders on there. Everything is going on right here. So um, yeah, so Minimalist is a very good app to stay organized. Find your flow, stay organized and make Make sure you remain organized throughout the, of the year because one week of you know self-care can turn into two weeks of catching up <laughs> yeah do find a side hustle i tell a lot of people this um find something that can make you a bit of money on the side so if you're a girl if you know how to make wigs let people know you know don't keep it to yourself because this could make you a cheeky 40 50 pounds on the side which is very good for you know two weeks of grocery shopping yeah for me it was you know singing background here and there um obviously youtube stuff collaborations and all that so find a side hustle if you can make wigs do wigs if you can braid hair braid all the hair you need to do guys if it's graphic designing there's a lot of uni parties uni parties need logos and flyers and if that's what you can do let people know because that 
little income on the side which really doesn't take a lot of time as well because it's not a full part-time job can help you so um, find your side hustle next university do I think this is quite a funny one to those that will be triggered watching this but if you're coming into university in September listen to this carefully four words four simple words but four words everyone fails to understand do attend your lectures. With the way King's College London works is you get your pre-reading, which is the reading you have to do to under, kind of understand what's going on in the lecture. The lecture then basically gives you a brief insight into that subject, topic or whatever. And your seminars and tutorials and supervisions obviously go more into depth. But attend the lectures because if the foundation is not solid, you will crumble. Because when it's time to write essays and people are sprinkling knowledge in your tutorials that they gained from the lecture and you're doing where's Wally because you can't find anything tangible to say, it gets a bit sticky. Do you join societies? Societies are a way for you to meet people and befriend people. So yeah, do you join societies. And um, if you are coloured tea. If you are black, join your ACS, see what it's all about. Some people have this mentality that oh, ACS is too black for me. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you think you're better than ACS, cool, that's your own. For those that don't know, ACS means African Caribbean Society. Join your ACS, you're around like-minded people. Join any other society you're interested in. Don't make your whole university experience about ACS as well. Don't become an ACS warrior. Thank you. Don't live, breathe and smoke ACS, you know, also branch out, look at other things. This one's very important, okay? Um, do take care of your personal hygiene because um, it gets a bit sticky when someone has to sit next to you and you stink, you know? Um, we get it, sometimes we wake up late, but make sure that shower is, you know, part of your morning routine. People are smelly. I just think it is very necessary to take care of your health. You know, deodorant is your friend, it's not your enemy. And there's no issue. So take care of your personal hygiene, brush your teeth, brush your tongue, brush your tongue. We don't want to talk about that one, but brush your tongue too. Let's not be able to hear your breath. You do live your best life, you know. Live your best life, enjoy yourself, find yourself, discover new things about people, about yourself, make friends, make connections, and enjoy university. That's the main thing. Enjoy whatever you're doing, if it's the societies, if it's your degree, just enjoy it because at the end of the day, you want to get the best out of your three or four or <laughs> medics. <laughs> 25 years you're spending at uni. So that was it for this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, something nice below. Yeah, you know what? This is one of those videos. I'll reply to every comment because why not? Let's have a bit of fun. Stay blessed, don't stress, never vex. The cool kid is now out. And yeah, God bless you and make this academic year a good one. Bye guys.